welcome back to the channel, Texas Ram. Today we're gonna to start a new playlist series kind of thing. You know how I upgraded the engine on the little golf cart over here and had it a part one and part two? Well, I got a new project so I kind of splurged on my lifeguarding money. This is actually from first paycheck of lifeguard. This old lady didn't want this thing. It's a garage find, my first barn find, quote unquote. And we're gonna be building it this summer and it's gonna be a really fun vehicle once we get it running. All right, project reveal, hovercraft. We bought a hovercraft, boys. So I bought this in a garage from this old lady who's, it was his, her son's, but he dumped it off like years ago. And it's just been sitting in a garage. We started cleaning it today. Here's the seat taken off. There's a bunch of rat poop in there, actually. It's been in a garage, don't do it. Not anymore. So it is powered by a Fuji engine, a 48, I believe, a two stroke. It is not the original engine. It is something new and more powerful. The original engine is some sort of Rotax. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing. I don't know. I don't know anything about this hovercraft. So this is my hovercraft that was in the garage. It's very dusty. It's been sitting there for years. So like I said, it's powered by a two-stroke Fuji engine. It has 55 horsepower on paper. Who knows if it's actually pulling that because it's so old, but scat American made. Right here, we're going to have a American flag. That's going to look nice. We just moved the hovercraft is now off the trailer. I think we ripped a piece of a skirt, but that's okay because we have extra. So, yeah, we're gonna go clean this interior that's like filled with gas and grime. So, let's go. This thing needs 55 horses to power it. <laughs> this sponge is extremely nasty because this is just caked with years of just grime and there's so much stuff. So, we, we are cleaning, deep clean. Dumpy. Ew, look at that. That is disgusting. So our first like problem kinda. So there's it all the way to the right. That's all the way to the left. So, and this thing's all bent. So it doesn't turn to the left as much as it does to the right. So yeah, steering's a little wanky. First problem, minor problem. I think it's probably an easy fix because it's all in there. We can probably, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's like uh, really dirty. So I'm scrubbing right now. As you can see, I'm scrubbing. <laughs> He's scrubbing. I'm scrubbing really nice. Wow. Look at all this. Wow. Grime. He's doing a great job. I'm not, I'm not really doing too much. Everyone, there we go. Everyone say, Katie, you're doing a great job in the comments. I expect it. So right now we're taking the air intake off. Oh, there it goes. Um, so we're gonna go get these fuel lines connected. We're gonna see if it turns over, see if this thing even works. So there's a fan cover. So yeah, these fuel lines look really old. So we're taking apart the carburetor a little bit right now and it is, it is really dirty. We need to get it cleaned. That is gross. It's been sitting forever, but we fixed this part because it was really, it was getting stuck, but now it's not because Spencer's so smart. So we need to clean this, get new, f new, uh, what, are these fuel lines? Yeah. Yeah. New fuel lines, dry rotted, and figure out what the heck these are even going to. Like, pretty sure it's the vacuum. Yeah. All right, we moved the hovercraft back in its place. So problems. Rudder is slightly bent, not a big deal, but it doesn't turn as well to the left as it to the right. Um, one second, one, yeah, right here. Chip in the blade, probably have to replace that. Um, gas tank. This engine, the original is a one cylinder, but this has two, so it's a lot further out. And the gas tank, it doesn't fit there. I don't think it's, I don't even know if this has run with it. I, like who knows? And these things, these like vacuum fuel line hoses, they uh, no clue what they do. This thing, the uh, um, pump, the primer thing, doesn't squeeze. It is, it is hard. So I don't know if even that's supposed to be the primer, but that has to be what gets the fuel in there initially. So probably need to replace that. A um, lot of mystery stuff. So yeah, engine. That's basically our main problem.